the the five steps that we outlined on my little notes. Yeah. We were doing a clubhouse chat yesterday, and that's where this came from. So we start out, and everyone listening who has any kind of NLP experience, remember the idea of unconscious incompetence. You don't, in other words, you don't know what you don't know. You don't even know that you don't know. You something. don't know that right. you don't. Yeah. yeah, it's not you don't know that you don't. You don't even know that you're unaware of something. So as an example, before I talk about it, Mike might have no conscious thought about the fact that, well, he probably doesn't know how to, to pick beam sizes to to support a floor or something like what? that. Oh, yeah, you're right. I've never studied engineering where I would learn about stress and strain and, and spans and Only because it isn't whatever. Yeah. yeah. So until you talk about something, you go, oh, I wasn't even aware that I didn't know. Then you become aware, like, let's say hypnosis, the topic of hypnosis. Oh, there's this thing called hypnosis. Oh, now I'm aware that I don't know anything about it. So that's sort of step. Let's call that step two. So step one is you're you're ignorant about a topic and you don't even know that you're ignorant. about. Right, it. Right, right. Then the very quick reality, this is the toggle. You become aware that mm -hmm. you're ignorant. So now you know it. Right, then you're aware you, that the subject exists. Yes, let's say, right. you're aware that the subject exists like computer chip design that powers my iPad here. I have no idea how that works. And I know it. Right. But if I was a kid, I wouldn't even know there was a chip inside there. OK, so we get the point. Step three is that we start to get some knowledge about a topic. We decide, hey, this is interesting. I want to learn about this. So we go and buy the complete idiot's guide to hypnosis. OK, right now yeah. we become a master of hypnosis. We think that what's in that book is the totality of the entire field. Yeah. So we, we know, highlight the book of make, and we think, oh, ah, yeah. I now know everything there is to know about hypnosis. So basically you have some knowledge on a topic and you know that you have that some knowledge. But here's the thing, because your actual myopic view of that field isn't reality, it isn't the totality. Hence the term You myopic. actually are back to the you're ignorant and you don't know it step. Uh, that's, that's very interesting. So I like, to look at this, I like to look at this as a, as a Venn diagram. So you have a, a massive circle, which is the totality of something, uh, knowledge of any subject. So let's say yeah. hypnosis. Okay? Yes. So this massive, oh no, let's let's give a real world example. Hey, remember our, our fake digital sign yeah, up here? Let's not put our hands through it. Uh, or the pe people will know it's fake. fake. You can't, well, uh -oh. we'll, let, we'll edit that out. <laughs> so listen, um, give an example from wine. When I started, I, I never drank wine in my life. I started in 2005 reading about wine. Yes. I got into it, read wine for dummies. And later I read a thousand pages. Like That's right. Deacon. And then I started writing about wine and bottles of wine started mm -hmm. arriving at my house in cases. And I became a wine writer and became a wine judge eventually. But in those early days, I'd read <laughs> wine for dummies. Yeah. I thought you were vomiting. No, this. no, okay. no. I read <laughs> wine for dummies. And suddenly the Dunning-Kruger effect kicked in because I knew this much about wine, but I didn't know the topic of wine was this big. This was all I saw of it. Yeah. So I thought that was all of it. So I thought, I'm an expert. Actually, it was a dick because the, it was. <laughs> what do you not mean now, was? What do you mean now? Was? The Dunning Kruger effect still on. is is real dickishness because people begin to pontificate on a subject when they're still at this phase. Now, when you continue learning about the topic, then you recognize, oh shoot, okay, I've learned a lot, but there's still all this. I guess I'm not an expert. I must be an imposter. That's when the imposter syndrome kicks in. Ah, that makes sense. Hey, do you have mice in your house? Do you have mice in your head? I'm, I'm only asking because the hat looks like it has a little chew marks. It has little chew marks yeah. on because it's about 25 years old. I refuse to throw it out. <laughs> it's just like chew marks. Pattern interrupt. There you, know, you it's, go. It's a cat knitting on it. I know. I knew it was your Mice cat. in your house. <laughs> so there you go. There's your Dunning-Kruger. So think about this is an interesting thing to consider. Where are you experiencing Dunning-Kruger that you think you know so much yeah. and maybe you really don't? Like I could probably be guilty of that with respect to podcast studio setup i don't know what do i you're, really no, know about all no, this you're more um i'm pretty good but i know there's this totality you're more imposter syndrome guy with that you know a lot about it way more than i do as is maybe maybe by the fact that he yells at me every day when we commit a setup no, I, now, I, back up for a second chris so we got dunning kruger yeah that's when people think they know it all but they don't know how vast the field is and then and what that's happens? when they're dicks then they stop being dicks and they get <laughs> imposter syndrome become really humble and think I don't know enough about this to be called an expert. Right. But then as they press on, they, they go on to full expert. true mastery. So we're going to catch mastery. up where we are on our list. So we've got the I'm ignorant and I don't even know that I'm ignorant. Then we right. immediately get to I'm ignorant about it, but I know it. Yeah. Then we get some knowledge, but we think we know the totality and of the. Ignorant, and we have, now we yeah. have the Dunning-Kruger effect, yeah. which is similar. <laughs> then we start building knowledge. We're actually pretty darn good at something. 
but we know that the field is so vast that there's still so much to learn. So we have this imposter syndrome, which can lead to a lack of confidence. Right. So you'll, you'll feel there. And we'll get into this in a moment. Let's talk about the parts conflict that goes on. There. All right, we'll get there. And eventually, of course, you get to the point where I, I still know there's more to learn. I still know that I know a lot. I'm confident with the idea that I am essentially an expert on a topic. I can talk about it. I can perform with confidence. And I'm interested in continuing to learn. And then, e. then you hit the next level where you know so much about it, you'll tell Ken Sweatman stories yeah. about it. Nobody and, wants to and hear it. And by the way, now, this I'm so proud that we're finally getting back to our um, usually we we read off the three words and then we just forget about them. No, but what not, was the first one? The first mm. one was Dunning Kruger. No, the, no, <laughs> I you, don't know. No, you bass. Hang on. Uh, it was maybe, uh, oh deployment. Oh yeah. We're deploying so this we're, now. We're using the deployment word here right. and toggle. We're getting to the point where we say at some point there's a toggle switch, right? Think yeah. about I was helping my daughter learn chemistry recently so i'm thinking about the activation energy required the energy to build the learning to suddenly flip the switch that happens mm -hmm. instantaneously that oh now i feel like i know enough that i'm no longer an no, imposter Chris, that's interesting because i subscribe to the quantum theory of learning and i'm not banning yes. the term quantum like not like physics people do oh you know it's quantum healing it's going quantum. quantum is a very specific term from particle physics and it is a discrete packet of energy that cannot be reduced. You can't have half a quanta. So you can't have half of any quanta, a quantum, in fact. But it does apply to this because the quantum theory of learning states that, say, you might need five pieces of information to hit the next level. After that, you might need only two to get to the level after that. After that, you might need 12. But until you get that missing piece, you mm -hmm. don't know any more than you thought you did. Yeah. And you get that missing piece and suddenly it jumps like Jack the Jumper and you're there. Yeah. 